Question number 16. Two diodes are connected as sketched here. Sketch the current flowing between points C and D as a function of voltage applied between points C and D. So to do this, we're going to plot a VI diagram, voltage current graph. So on the X axis, we'll put the voltage because that's what we're changing. And we're going to measure the current. So if we apply a positive voltage between C and D, the current will flow through this diode, but no current can flow through the other diodes because diodes only work in one direction. And we should recall the shape of the VI curve for a diode is like this. So it doesn't conduct and then suddenly it starts conducting and increases steeply. Now, if we reverse the voltage, if we apply the voltage from D to C, so we have the current flowing from D to C only through this one diode, not through the other one, which means that we should have the same graph, but in reverse on the other side. The second part of the question says, a sensitive amplifier is connected to terminals E and F to measure small electric signals from an instrument connected to terminals A and B. From time to time, there are discharges in the instrument which might destroy the amplifier if the amplifier is connected to the instrument directly without the diodes. Explain briefly how the diodes protect the amplifier. Let's have a look at what, what happens here then. If the voltage is relatively low, it would be in this region of the chart here. So no current will be conducted through the, through the diodes, which means that all the current will flow from A to E through the equipment from F back to B. So the diodes won't be used. However, if the voltage suddenly goes very high, then the diodes can conduct because it will be over the threshold voltage. And in fact, the resistance of the diodes is so small that all of the current will now flow through the diodes from C to D and back to B. So with a low voltage, the current flows from A to E through the equipment from F back to B. With a high voltage, the current flows from A through the diode bridge and back to B. This means that the high currents associated with the high voltages will never actually reach the equipment, so the equipment is protected.